Hello, I'm AZ and welcome to Buildcraft Whateverly, a new series by me on just about anything Buildcraft, actually. I'm amazed by the amount of positive reception I got on the first devlog I made, so I decided to turn this into a series. First up, an update on the lists, which I showed in the last video. I've made a few minor changes to them based on community input. First off, if you insert a fuel bucket, it will now sort the type of the container by type, and the material that's in the container by material, which actually makes a lot more sense, I forgot to do it. And the second thing is, if you hover over an item in your inventory, it will say whether it matches the current lists. So these don't match, only this one matches. These of course match. If we add in an iron gear and we sort it to everything iron, then everything iron in, in this will match, of course, the bucket. It's not listed as an iron thing in the or dictionary, there's not much we can do about it, sadly. So today, we're going to talk about the recipe packagers. They were added after thinking on the advanced crafting table, which was supposed to be the high-end replacement to the auto workbench, but ultimately failed at its role, mainly because that system meant you had to have large walls of lasers, and lasers are very expensive, at the same time, most Buildcraft players keep the lasers in their crafting room, and they don't have enough range for a whole large crafting system. So first off, the recipe packager. The system is inspired by factorization. So what you can do is highlight slots. Those are called unfiltered slots. Let's get some items. And if we put something here, it, the unfiltered slots will use the first item they find. So we can make an iron block out of this. Of course, if we have multiple items, it will always pick the first item it finds. It won't mix them. An unfiltered set of slots will only take in one item. Of course, you can use this to do this, which means free iron. Also, the packages have those neat tooltips which show you what's in the package. Then you can make another one, which has sticks in it, insert the previous package, and we'll add it on to create an iron pickaxe. One thing that we added past Neptune Pink's original concept is filtered slots, which bring this much closer to what the ACT could do. So now if we have filtered slots, we put in iron and sticks as usual, and we put in some paper, we get a package which contains the sticks which are filtered and the first unfiltered item which is iron. If we change the material, we'll get a golden pickaxe recipe. Now what you can do with the packages is either throw them and get the items back, or you can use the stamping table. The stamping table will take the package and turn it into an item. Now, depending on the amount of items, it will take less or more time. For instance, the iron blocks take a bit more energy and time to produce. Now, one interesting feature of the stamping table is that it will also craft single items which have a same process to be that's themselves. So if a gold ingot can be split into nine golden nuggets, it can be done here as well, which is a nice little time saver, which I liked factorization's designs for. Now, I've made a little machine to showcase the recipe packager's capabilities. It's called the Automatic Gear Crafter. The reason I made it is because, of course, I mispronounced gear for most of the last video, so I had to have a fitting punishment. Now, how this works is... This is where we input the necessary materials, so sticks, cobblestone, etc, etc. Now, one feature of the recipe packagers is that they will only take the items which are needed in the recipe. So if you only have sticks here, it will only accept sticks. Of course, if you have an unfiltered slot, it will take in anything, because it cannot know what you want to put in, in the slot. These clay insertion pipes will just pick the first recipe packager appropriate for a given item. So if we give it sticks, and cobblestone. They will accurately pick the recipe packager that requires them. And those will light up. Those are just simple indicators about which recipe packager contains what. Now this thing turned on. It's quite nice actually. It's a system for filling in paper when the recipe packagers use up paper to make the packages, which are now contained here. How this works is, if there's space for paper in any of this, these, it emits a red pipe signal, which will then trigger this extractor. Uh, the items will go this way, 
using the clay pipes to find the recipe pattern which needs paper and any overflow will go back through here and using this lens filter contraption which I might explain in a later episode they will always go back in the chest. This is so we can keep a nice paper supply. Now we've got the packages waiting here as you can see. Now let's turn on the second part of the system. The packages will now travel through the redstone, and redstone engines and wooden pipes. Here's the package. And they will come into and there will be more of them crafted, and they will come into this gold chest. Which will push it to the stamping table, and the gear will come out this diamond pipe. Now, some of the gears will be used up for crafting, the ratio is 4 to 1, because we're going to need them for other gear types. But, in this case, you can see that some of them will go into the barrels. So, we've now got some wooden gears. Now, those wooden gears come back through the pipes into here, that where they are used to be crafted into more packages to create cobblestone. Now I'm going to get some more sticks and cobble because we're going to need more of them. And we're going to watch the machine work. It's, we need to wait for a while for it to refuel. The items are traveling through these pipes. And we've already got some wooden stone gears. We should be getting to iron gears soon whenever this one catches on which it is doing, and then once iron ones start traveling here, oh there it is, we're eventually going to see gold ones and then diamond ones. Another nice feature that I've just added to Buildcraft 7.1 actually is something fairly minor, a mini display of the map in the zone planner on the display itself, which is in my opinion a nice little touch. In the meantime, it's still doing the iron ones and the gold ones slowly. The first gold one has left it, the building. Of course, we have a lot of wooden ones because we've given it a lot of sticks. As you remember. Oh, there's the first gold one. Hmm. There's a minor issue where my extraction speed is not fast enough. And since we don't sort the packages, this might overflow and then drop the items. I'm not sure what I should do here. I might make it so that if a package cannot be output, it just waits until it's output. Or I might make this have two or three slots for this. I'll see about it later. And there's our first diamond gear. So those will go in here eventually. All diamond gears will of course go here because they're not used for any further crafting yet. You could set this machine up to craft all the gears for your quarry. Which I'm sure is nice, as all of you would love to have your first quarry, but of course, for many of you, the machine will be too expensive to craft when you can just have a quarry. <laughs> Exciting. So, um, since this is one of my first YouTube videos, I'd um, if you could leave any criticism for me in the comments so I can try and make them better, it would be appreciated. Like, if you didn't understand something or I didn't explain something well enough, that'd be nice. Um, so work on Buildcraft 7.1 continues. We've actually found uh, quite a few bugs thanks to the Star Chasers and we'll be getting them fixed. Um, I think we can expect the first beta of Buildcraft 7.1 in one to two weeks or so. Thanks, see you later.